September 19, 2024, Durango Dank here. 2024 Den AI Summit, hashtag Den AI Summit by Durango Dank GP7A Intelligence. You know, we, we did the GP7A, the open metaverse in 2006. And we saw algorithms and other things back then of what was going to happen now. So I'm Marty McFly. And I'm about to show Denver their next 20 years. And it's not in the city and county of Denver government. They have enough problems to worry about all the things that they've caused to get themselves out with the same people voting. There's 490,000 other people that did not vote and are sick of it. And now we hedged that and we waited for them to put on this type of a Denver, because Mike Johnston is so predictable. Um, it, it's amazing how predictable he is. And now we can take cloud, what we think a group of people are talking about and writing content and then look to see if their images or their anything that they're associated with, if they all start coming up as a group. It's really amazing what you can do with artificial intelligence. And those individuals that, who developed it that said, hey, we got to unplug that stuff, uh, they, they, it's too late. It's too late, folks. And the best news is that I knew this in 2006. I had to go through my trials and tribulations to learn how to fix it. A human-centered approach, not the hyperbole that the CIO of the city and county of Denver that you see down right here, that's the real, that right there, the city and county of Denver, that's the government. Unequivocally, hands down. And this is what they're not doing because they're trying to take over the internet so that everything shows up the city and county of Denver. Those days are over. And it was settled on February 6, 2023. And it's all written down in these images. It's been... This right here, we did it. Artificial intelligence notified us that Denver Wright, which is owned by Colorado Public Radio, which we would be suing for hundreds of millions of dollars, folks. Hundreds of millions of dollars. And we would be getting people that want to live in Denver that can afford to live in Denver. Why is it so shameful to be able to afford to live in Denver? Even if you're getting government subsidized, they're here, and unfortunately, they, they want to support those that really don't want to support us. They don't want to pay their bills. They don't want the majority of them. And I know, because if it wasn't for Volunteers of America, whew, I wouldn't even be here right now, folks. And so uh, I went through that whole system, and I graded it. I built apps for it to make it better, make our court systems better, to make it faster. They don't want this. They want confusion, mayhem, just blah shit. Why their lives go to all the little parties and they all get to go and rub asses and sniff each other's hands. And you, you see how it goes, but see, they were all been indexed now for a very, very long time. And why they laugh it off and they, joke it off, um, it's, uh, it's not a joke anymore, it's actuality. And it's all written within all this, right here, Denver right, it'll tell you. That if you look, if City and County of Denver LLC is the government, we didn't approve that, we didn't do that. And this is how, what we use in court to get subpoenas for all Denver right, Colorado Public Radio, all their emails, all the things they think they've thrown away, especially what they've thrown away, folks. So, uh, Vander Will, when you hear that knock, buddy, guess who it's going to be?